with 11.05, so that means it's time for live at 11.05 on BC with Spirit Cars. Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars, is behind the camera. Um, I think we got here right on time. Is it 11.05? A little rushing around, but we made it. Today we're going to talk about the box or not the box. That's the question, but it's really not a question. I think we'll start right here in the middle, and then we'll go to both ways here. This is the Model A frame. Here's our Model A. And uh, look at this frame. It's an original frame, and it's not boxed at all. The reason we have this frame, it's an original frame. It makes it easy for us to use as a jig. We put some legs on it. It's our Model A. We know if the you know the holes are in the right spot and everything is, is lined up. But if I had the body off of here and I picked up this frame in a corner, that frame will flex and it'll twist with no problem at all. I mean, it is just not a very strong frame. The reinforcement across, it's, it's riveted together. Um, I, I would say years ago now. Yeah, and you can see this is, like I said, we just picked this up. It's an old frame, so it had issues just with the, the little four-cylinder and it started coming apart and people had to weld it. But we boxed a couple of them years and years ago. I don't know, 20 years ago, I took an original frame and, and made it into a hot rod frame. The car was not designed to go highway speeds and, and be rigid like a modern car is, or modern hot rod is. So the question of to box or not to box is not a question. If you're going to turn your Model A into a street rod, box the frame. Now we've taken it a step or two or three past that, so we build our own frame now. So let's, here's a frame jig for the Model A. If you look down the line of the jig, the Model A floor is a flat floor, so it's a fairly simple frame, but it's it does have some little twists and turns to it. If you look down, it kind of bevels out a little bit and then comes back in. What we start with is a 2x4 square tube and it's 3 16 But the way this frame is, if we cut the frame and cut it all the way through, you can see we can bend it to match our, to match our jig. And then we'll fill this same back here, we'll fill this, uh, we'll make a piece for the back, we've got a jig for that, it just... It sets up, this would be the back of the car here, so it's kind of handy to have a jig and it sets up onto the back of that frame once this is built. In the front of it, and the back, it tapers a little bit, but the front of the frame on a Model A tapers. So what we'll do is cut it from this line right here and they all have a frame horn. So what we'll do is we'll put the frame horn on it so it'll have that angle coming down from there to the frame horn and we'll even box the frame horn. It just makes it a lot a lot stronger, a cleaner job. When you put your transmission cross member in there Everything's mounted, so we got a you know the modern, say, big 350 trans 